After a violent eight-month stretch that saw two officers murdered in central Indiana, a family tonight is marking two years since a fallen deputy's death. Deputy Carl Kuntz was a husband and the father of a little boy. Our David McAnally is here tonight with how the widow is trying to move forward while making sure their son never forgets. Dave? John, Cassie Kuhn's story is one of courage, coping, and caring for others who become victims of violent loss. She stands at her husband's grave two years after a gunman shot and killed Howard County Deputy Carl Coons outside Kokomo. It feels like it happened yesterday. Um, the days coming up to the two year or any of the anniversaries are the hardest. Just remembering that it was normal and in a matter of 20 seconds your life changed. Your whole identity changes. You realize what's important and what's not. You don't take life for granted. And when the lives of two more Central Indiana officers were taken in the last eight months, Lieutenant Aaron Allen and Deputy Jacob Pickett, this young widow reached out to help those families. As people come to help you, then you pay it forward and it helps you, in a sense, to, for your grieving process. Only a small circle of people really know the personal impact of an officer's death. And Cassie Kuhn says, even in that circle, people grieve differently. Including her now two-and-a-half-year-old son, Noah, his baby footprints etched into his father's marker, his handprints in the concrete. I tell him, um, let's go visit Daddy, and he's like, Daddy? She wants to keep his father real for him. At Washington's Monument to Fallen Officers, she's seen Noah drawn to men in police uniforms. Even though he was an infant when his father died, that uniform... It's home to him. So it's kind of, it'll be amazing to see what he decides when he gets older. At his preschool's community helper day, Noah went in uniform. Either his dad's death is going to make him strive to go be a police officer or it's going to push him away. Three. Noah was there for the balloon launch last March to mark one year since his father's death. He still visits the grave. Um, he'll run straight here. Um, there's pennies out there. He'll play with the pennies for a little bit. I'm like, give daddy kisses and he'll kiss that side of the tombstone that Carl's on. This little guy gets her through. He is the laugh I need. He is the person that I could cry on, and he's not going to care. Um, he's the kiss I need to help me through the day. Tomorrow night after 8 o'clock, they're going to have a candlelight vigil planned at Albright Cemetery in Kokomo, part of the family's remembering and rebuilding.